So how long were you in Paris? You've been gone for a while. Yes, I was. I was there for about uh, two weeks, and uh, we were participating the Who's Next Paris. Yes. For our label, um, I would say that it was very good in a sense that it was the first time that we actually uh, introduced a hand-drawn textile into the fashion market in uh, Europe. Wow. Yes. Hand-drawn textile. That's what we do. Is it more batik or other designs that you are into? Actually, uh, what we do actually is that there's lack of textile designers in Malaysia, and that's what I do. I actually design the textile, then I convert it to fashion to show people that uh, you need to have a textile company to support your line. Yes. I think that's very important. Yes. Yes. <laughs> so, so, and act, and because we had very limited resources, I can't afford to buy a three hundred thousand dollar digital printing machine for textile. <laughs> so I decided to specialize in batik. Printing, mm, so therefore I can express myself freely with the designs that I have, and uh, if the business do well, our next move one day would become a major textile printing player in Southeast Asia. So that is actually what wow, we would like to do. Congratulations! Yes. That is a very good objective, and it's a good mission to, yes. to have. You know. Yes, and uh, it's so sad that China has dominated textile industry. <sighs> Tell me about it. Yes, um, starting from honestly, I've been you know. Um, Monitoring the growth. Uh, yes. Uh, starting from 1994 mm -hmm. or five, it started from there. In yeah. a short 15 years, you have seen so much growth in China. Yes, it's and true. And it actually kills a lot of our own manufacturers. Correct. Do you know how many ma manufacturers that I have known? Most of them has closed down. Yeah. And uh, of course, some of them. Who are strong has actually also have a factory now in China, an office in China. Yes. You, you just have to. It's not. Yeah. A, it's not like a, you have a choice. <laughs> yes, that, that is true. Because a lot of times when I um, when I talk about fashion, uh, and I also have to talk about business. Yeah. Fashion it cannot stay by itself without the business side of it. Correct. Yes. A lot of times, you know, people doesn't understand that um, they always think that fashion is glamorous, always think that fashion is uh, something that is so, gla you know, it's just wonderful to be in, yeah. but they don't see the hard work behind it. And also, besides that operation. <laughs> yes, I agree. Yes, we yeah. actually learned a lot when we went to Europe that uh, logistically, uh, we have a lot of weaknesses that we need to address, uh, such as, you know, our conversion rate, our foreign currency, taxation, uh, freight forwarding. These are all yes. very... Fre freight forwarding. Yes. That is a major part because Correct. everything is cost into your uh, outfit. Correct, yes. One outfit has to be cost in and so many aspect. Yes, it's yeah, true. Just yes. besides the fabrication, uh, the workmanship, the, uh, all the buttons and zippers, thread forwarding, what else? Taxation. <laughs> uh, no, not not to forget the raw materials. Yeah, Actually, we 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 work very hard. We always uh, want to tell a lot of people that uh, maybe Malaysia should consider to cultivate raw materials like cotton and silk, because uh, we rely so much on import from India and China. We are not able to control the quality of the raw silk that is brought in, and it it upsets us because when we export, our European and Japanese buyers will be asking us, "What is your thread count? What is your um yes. momin?" for your silk, you know, which, which worm did it come from, what temperature, we fail to answer those questions. I think it's very important. Yeah, like for, for example, into, yeah. Um, like states, right? Yeah. Um, any Im import garment, you have to have all this logistic. You must yes. have all these uh, uh, definite decimal points of uh, how many trade counts, for example, yes. and even coloration, whether Correct. It, it fades or it's going to, you know, all these facts. Yes, it's true. <laughs> in fact, that's why we contact our supplier in Helsinki for colors, because we mix our own colors in our factory. And uh, we actually study the seven primary col colors that can make 2,000 colors in yes, combination. Yes, that, yes, so we want to do that by hand and by weighing scale and by technology oh, so that we can Michelle. do the best <laughs> textile. Yes, that's what we want to you know what? I've known you for quite a, a while now yes. because of your stunning collection uh, and, your, of course, your fabrication. And I always know you as Misha Shakira. <laughs> Every time I see Misha, not forgetting your Michelle Lau. Yeah, uh, well, uh, like going back to your question just now, it is important to take it from a business angle. So uh, Michelle Lau will not be popular. I can honestly, I'm not saying that Michelle Sakura is more popular. It's just that we wanted something more original. So I, I have to say you should be happy that I call you Michelle Shakira. Yes, thank you. Yes. That's your brand. <laughs> yes. You should want 
everybody to correct to, to know your brand, Visa, right? You yes, know? something different and something uh, local. That's what a uh, local taste. And um, um, and all these years that we have been using the brand, a lot of people thought it was uh, Indian. If it's not Indian, it's Japanese. If it's not Japanese, it is something else. Something else, yeah. So <laughs> not Chinese. <laughs> not Chinese. Because no. When I heard about you, and uh, you know, when someone, uh, you know, uh, Betty said this collection is very good. This is designer and she introduced you as Misha Shakira this yes. is the brand mm -hmm. and from that day onwards I'm stuck with that brand <laughs> which is actually a very good thing uh, and I'm very impressed with your you know your collection with uh, Batik you see thank you. Uh, there's so many Batik designers I mean it's still a handful compared to all, uh, the rest of uh, 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 different uh, contemporary designers or couture mm -hmm. um, it's very important to see uh, that uh, uh, Batik is actually taken to a, a, the next level, which is contemporary, ready to wear. Yes, correct. Because yes. if not, you just cannot make it international. Yeah, I, I so agree with you. And and also, we are also trying to show people that uh, Batik making is, an, is a process we can consider as a fashion line. We don't necessarily have to import uh, silk from Japan or from Italy. We can actually do printed textile that can be so trendy. Because we are starting the trend in the 60s, in the 70s, where you have all the flower power girls and mm -hmm. everything else. Mm -hmm. The prints are so gorgeous. And yes. this is exactly what we want to bring back. We want to bring uh, back the prints that can become trendy and chic. Yeah, at the same psychedelic prints. Exactly. It's yes. fantastic yeah. you know, with the we want to, yes. and all that. It's just that the, it, it's very important to understand colours. Correct. Like, I agree. Yeah, because yes. colours is, is representing um, the mood. Where, what what Spring, color? Summer, fall, winter. Correct. Know? Yes. The coloration is very important. Also, your your customer base uh, likes what. You yes. Know, whether it's more black and white, black, or the neutrals and the the pastels and the different combinations. Yeah, it's true. Color yes. sells. Uh, I, I always say you yes. must know your colors, babe. If not, it's very difficult. And the collection has to gel. The collection must have a storyline. Must have a complete, um, you know, uh, uh, story with colors. Yes. And and <laughs> what print? But but we are very happy with uh, what Moda is doing as an NGO because you are doing it as a non-profit uh, activity. So because we've yeah. been around for twenty years, Correct. we started off as a team, as a, a group of designers coming together to uh, to learn at the same time as to give. Yes, uh, it's not just about. Um, Making money, yes, money is very important to make. We make it individually, yeah. so we come around back to give a little hand to the newcomers mm -hmm. in our industry. It's just very important. This is actually yes. our major objective. Of course, through the years, we still have to make a little money to 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 put up the show, to actually um, pay people to come and help because. Yeah. Um, Everything is so expensive now, as yeah. you know. But 20-some years ago, it's very different. We we able to just do it even with no money. But now, everything is... It's all about it's money. It's impossible, yeah. Yes. But <laughs> the the point being the fact that you still need money. But I think uh, we want to thank Moda for all the work that uh, you have helped us. Because, you see, ultimately, uh, we as designers, we can't go far without the support of a strong association. But I have to say that uh, yeah. uh, a little bit different with other, um, what do you call it, associations is I... I'm very personal with everyone. Yeah. So I give a lot of my own personal time. Mm -hmm. uh, so that makes... But actually, at the end of the day, it's very important. You, as a designer, you, as a brand owner, uh, work hard and... Oh, you yes. Know, and you, you know where your direction is. There's no point for, for me to say anything. At the end of the day, it's your hard work. Yeah. Uh, what we do, I can tell you, we are not going to be multimillionaire tomorrow. <laughs> it will take us 20, 30 years to even establish. You do. I do, so yes. Very yes, so I do. tell me about your website now. Okay. Uh, we Our website does not really reflect all the work that we are doing because we found out that we are not able to patent our work mm -hmm. because any form of variation uh, is considered a different design. Yes. So therefore, we're not going to waste our money and uh, we keep all the good stuff for trade shows and fashion shows only. Yes. And the online will only give you like how is Batik made, what is the history of Batik in okay. Malaysia, very generic, okay. nothing else. So you have a Misha a Sukira, Sukira website, website, I do, I do, yes. Com. Yes, dot com. And I have my own YouTube, my gallery is uh, projected. Okay, that's good. The yes. YouTube is, uh, what's the... Uh, Misha Sukira, that's you type oh, in the YouTube okay. that's on because our name is so different yes. so there's no Mira M-E-E-R-A S-U-K-I-R-A uh, Misha M-E-E-S-H-A -E -E oh, I see uh, Misha -E -E yeah. H-A -E 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 -E. yes Sukira S-U-K-I-R-A okay yes. I have to, I have to go in the uh, go please do the yes website to thank you it. so much please do one day yeah so we will time. catch up soon because I have other um, things that we talk about it's more on the production side yeah. okay no problem thank you so much